guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. And we're back, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Last time on, we uh, gave some STDs and set a new record for ST, uh, Tactical Village. STD transmissions. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, we had a little bit of a, a makeup between Boyle and Rosa, well, who have become friends. Uh, there might be some hiccups there because, uh, well, why would it be weird? And I'm so glad that you can come because he said you were busy and now you're free. Okay, well, we had a, a good moment with uh, Peralta and Santiago. They seem to be friends. And... Uh, Terry and her are going on dates, and he was sad because Teddy. he was going to ask about a date. And yeah. he just had lipstick on, and now he has nothing. I'm playing some crazy club games. She takes our little ladies to so many classes, I can't keep it straight. Childhood is truly a time of wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Lick the baggie. There's food molecules in there. Oh, that's so smart. Oh. What about Terry's yogurt? Mm. <laughs> Why is there a boot in here? Best man. Wait a minute. Jake Peralta, will you be my best man? Yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. <laughs> wow. I hope you're rested. We're going to be on our feet all day. I'm totally prepared. I even bought some nurse shoes. Love them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this? It's my first police kit. The walkie-talkie blows bubbles. I hope you can handle it. He submitted an official complaint against you. Did you fill it out in crayon? No. But he did use a green pen, which seems crazy to me. What? Now pepper frosting because our marriage is going to sizzle. Habanero pepper frosting. Unless you think it's a bad idea. No. <laughs> Take those down. down. Jim Kelly, Liberace, Diane Keaton. Roger that. Summer linen suit, casual but classic. Actually, not bad. Yeah. One question. Can you see my underwear? Ah, thong! <laughs> Why are you wearing a thong? Why are the it's pants so borrowed. thin? Yeah. <laughs> it's my something <laughs> borrowed! Uh, not even the bride. I never got into diets. <laughs> Though I did take diet pills in the 70s. I love these pills. They give me so much energy, and I can eat whatever I want. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> When I woke up, I had so much mail. <laughs> when I woke up, I had so much mail, what? Vivian got a job in suburban Ottawa. She wants me to retire from the NYPD and go with her. Retire? Oh. Oil, we're supposed to die on the force together. Me in a big explosion and you committing suicide at my funeral out of respect. What? <laughs> I know. <laughs> testicles to life. You know, can we actually cool it on the testicles for a minute? No, on the testicle part. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to bring it up. Just tell her how you feel. Say something like, Vivian, I love you, but we need to talk about Ottawa. Right, and then she'll say, you're a selfish man pig, and I hope you die alone, and I never loved you. Oh, God, she never loved me. She's not going to say any of that because she's not criminally insane. <laughs> Just calm down. How's your apology to Officer Deedmore coming? I've been working on a letter to send him. Yes, that's our draft note on your desk. What do you think? It was so horrifying, I had to destroy the whole pad. <laughs> 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 He's staring at me. I'm sorry. 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 Good, that's the one. <laughs> they were all the same. Oh, uh, that's enough joke. I'll get that for you, Ames. <laughs> Oops. Butterfeet, sorry about that. That's sorry? Crazy. You bumbling son of a bitch! You just ruined my life! I hope you get hit by a truck and a dog takes a dump on your face! You're nothing to see here, just a little hypoglycemic rage. Move along. I'm never like that. That's okay. It's my fault. I should have bumped your cashew. Cashew? It was an omen, you idiot! I hope you drown in a tub! I hope you have aneurysm after aneurysm after aneurysm! <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to Vivi. Great idea, buddy. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So who's gonna pay for the paper? It's gonna be two hundred and fifty dollars. Her name is Amy Santiago. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, Justin. You can't tempt me, trader. Not when I got this big, juicy cantaloupe wedge to keep me company. Not even that it's so big. So thin I could see through it. <laughs> Santiago, come hold this so it looks bigger in your tiny hand. Amy <laughs> left the building twenty minutes ago. Santiago loves cantaloupe time. 
wrote a song about it. Kind of low. Kind of low. This is nonsense without her singing the high parts. Where is she? <laughs> oh no, she's eating. Amy, where are you? <laughs> oh my god, god, no. Santiago, stop. <laughs> it's not too late. I failed so It's not too late. This is my second burger. Okay, I lied. It's my fourth. I can do this all on my own. I don't need you. I can even sing the high parts. Cantaloupe. Yes, I can. Cantaloupe. Yes, I can. <laughs> Traitors. Cantaloupe. I said the words. I paused afterwards. I even averted my gaze to make you feel like the alpha. Yeah, but you didn't mean it. I'd like you to apologize like you mean it. I'm sorry you screwed up my case. I'm sorry you're a terrible cop. I'm sorry for your goat face and your rodent brain and your weird goose body. I meant all of that. I hope you feel better. Hey. All right. The good news is she's on her way here, and you're gonna talk to her for me. I don't know. Just tell her I absolutely shouldn't retire and move to Canada. But don't tell her I think that. Hi, <laughs> but don't tell her I think uh, that. Hi, Jay. Vivian. <laughs> <laughs> Great timing. You know that in ancient Egypt, the peasants drank beer for breakfast. Well, that explains why all their buildings were crooked. Charles, can I see you in the bathroom for a second? I've got a mole on my back. It needs a looking at, and Charles has eyes. I do. Needs a looking at, and Charles right, has. So let's see that mole. Get off of me! It's a fake excuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see that. We getting wait. Wait, don't go. It's off to be. Why would I stay for that? <laughs> <laughs> I am stronger than ever. Watch this. Oh, Sorry, what, what are you doing? doing? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> see, I'm fine. Oh no. Oh, he's weakening. Oh. Go back inside. Are you talking to us or the fart? <laughs> Charles and I both want to move to Canada. Is that true, Charles? Is that what you want? Uh, yeah. I want to retire from the force and move to Ottawa with Vivian. And frankly, I have no idea why you're getting involved. And no one asked for your stupid opinion. Maybe? Leaving? What? I've never been more unhappy with Charles. When I was a young officer, I was that rat and got zapped. And all I wanted was to be captain and throw some lightning bolts. And for Palpatine. I do not know who that is. But a real leader doesn't zap people when they mess up. I'm sorry. Please, yes. No need to make a scene. <laughs> if he would turn on me like this? He's not being himself. Maybe because he's facing a terrible decision and he doesn't know what to do? Yeah, that sounds right. I think he needs his farm lover. It's pronounced form over. I don't have time to teach you Danish. I gotta go help Charles. His I'll farm find lover? Out where he is in farm that would be helpful. Look at those two back there. What were they doing? What were they doing? They were just like sitting like this. <laughs> and how are you gonna stop me? Baton to the knee. Baton to the knee. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry for making fun of you in front of everybody. Oh, one more sorry. You're about to see a drawing I did of you in the elevator. Just remember, I was really pissed at you at the time. That was great. Damn it! Your best Damn man. it! Oh, how kind of you. Are you also taking me to the knee hospital? Your knee is fine. The knee <laughs> hospital? Sorry, you had it coming for throwing me under the bus like that. I'm sorry. What you don't want is to go to Canada. So I don't care how many buses you throw me under, I'm making you talk to Vivian. Okay. That was, that was good. You're right. And you know what? I'm ready. No, I'm not. I'm running away. Boyle, no! I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. That's it. I give up. Why do you care so much about this diet? Just stop, you're in perfect shape. Mm. Amen. I'm not doing it for me. My wife is on the diet, but I'm too weak. Just hand me that milkshake. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? What? Thank you. We are still a team, and we will keep you from eating so you can support your wife. Thank you, team. <laughs> However, just to be clear, Gina and I are still gonna eat. I'm eating right now, Terry. Corn dog. <laughs> what you get that? that? Charles has something he'd like to say. In case he tries to flee. <laughs> Vivian, we need to talk about Ottawa. 
five hours later. Five hours? You waited. How'd it go? Everything okay? Vivian and I talked for hours. There's a lot more to discuss, but it's a start. You were right. She didn't dump me. You did good. Your duties as best man aren't over yet. What? Whiskey and cigars. <laughs> Thanks for being the best, best man. You're on the street. To the fancy brood gum. The cops. <laughs> ha! Ha! Spicy! Why oh, is that God. spicy? Not a doctor. That's what you guys would do to me. Yeah. It's like Rick with everything. <laughs> spicy! Ah! Why are these pancakes spicy? I only deal with spicy things. Spicy. We got the like the mild chicken tikka masala the other day. And you're like, I can't have any more. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's too God. spicy. What? I'm like, there's no spice in this. There it is. It's not spicy. You didn't get the mild. We got we the mild, didn't mild. we? You got the medium. Mm. I get the mild. You got the got medium. The medium isn't spicy. The medium is so spicy. Jeans is the medium. You know what's spicy? Spicy! <laughs> That's what's called spicy. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, this is... My favorite character. I love Holt and Rosa showing emotion. <laughs> you know, like Let that conversation when she goes, Yeah, I'm sorry, let's not have a scene. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Him just holding that apology. Oh, that was so fire. good. I had to do it. I had to destroy the whole thing because it was like, yeah. <laughs> He's watching it, yeah. Like he didn't light it on fire and throw it. He's just staring at it. What about the Hitchcockians calling one word? He's dead! <laughs> See, that, that was so funny. <laughs> I was just in a coma. I had so much mail when I woke up. Oh, man. <laughs> to diet pills. Hey, and I can eat whatever I want now. Uh, I wanted to see what they were doing in the background of this scene. I gotta go help Charles. Look at these two. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they holding? I know, I can't I think, tell. I think they're both holding like coffee cups and then they're just kind no, of- No, it looks like they're both holding like, like triggers. No, one Bombs. one of them, uh, Scully 100% has a coffee cup. And I, I'm assuming Hitchcock does as well. That one back there is a coffee cup? Yeah. And then Hitchcock has another ho coffee uh, cup back there. I am convinced, because yeah, right. I see it all the time in the background. They do shit like this all the time. We just never see it. <laughs> Look at them. What are they doing? I don't know what- They had to do that for like, the whole scene! Like, they... like, Scully's just, like, relaxed, but then Hitchcock is like... Well, both of them, like, are relaxed, but their eyes are looking forward still. That's what it kind of looks I like. I think their eyes are closed. It's fucking... it's astounding. <sighs> Dude, you know what was astounding? Huh. Go to, um, the conversation in the car, when, uh, Peralta and, uh, Boyle, before Boyle were discussing. Yeah, before he runs away. I don't know why I was so surprised by this. It's so yeah, you can turn it down because you don't even hear the volume. But so they drive, and I, I don't know. I think I'm impressed by this because like if you watch in the background a lot, like a lot of times things just don't match up. But like yeah. they stop, and then when it's on Peralta, there's a biker, and yeah. then you come to him, and there's no biker, and you come back to him, and there's no biker. Then you come back to Boyle, and like there's a biker, <laughs> and I was like, holy shit! I thought the biker would just disappear, no. but it was like. Oh, we're over here. Now we've gone to Peralta. The biker's passed. We come back. He's it's, leaving. It's like it actually was good continuity. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, holy shit. And I, that, I was like, wow. And you were like, I know. And I'm like, what's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> or I, no, I think I said that was good. <laughs> you were like, I know. I forget. But I don't even know. I, I, I lost track of what they were saying. <laughs> I was No, he's like, you know what? I'm ready. And then he fucking just bolts out. Yeah, yeah. And this part here. Which I love that moment. But yeah, it was just funny. During the reaction, I was like, that was great. And you're like, I know. And I'm like, I don't think he's looking at the same thing I am. <laughs> but yeah, I, was, I don't know why I was so impressed with that. Because I feel like so many times, especially when they're driving cars, there'll yeah. be like a car behind them. Yeah. Yeah. And then they'll switch to a thing and they come back and that car's just gone. Well, and, or empty behind them yeah. and stuff. And I mean, because they're shooting in New York, though, I and mean, this is one of the few shows that when they're shooting, it's not an obvious green screen uh, follow car <laughs> shots, you know? Yeah. Like, this just looks like it was just shot up there. Um, well, plus he got out and ran over there, you know, there. so there must be a real thing over there. There are so many points in my life when I'd be driving with Shane, and Shane would be like, stop! He'd just stop the, like, like, I'd just put the brakes on. He'd just jump out and run, chase a squirrel. Why? I don't know. I'd be like, I'd literally be like driving, and he'd just be like, stop! Eventually, you knew why you wanted to stop, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, so it's always, always funny. I always so you did. Would, did you, did you yeah. leave while he was doing it? I, I would, would I would get him. to the point where I would screech the tires. Because it was hilarious. Do you ever catch one? Yeah. Okay. 
He got to this thing where he would take his book bag off his back and throw it on this side of the tree so the squirrel starts running and then he would catch it. And like one time he caught it and like turned around him and it's like, ah! He's like, ah! And he threw it. Taking care of rabies. He's like a dog. He signed a green pen, which seemed crazy to me. Yeah. <laughs> that was he a good did, one. Did fill out a crayon. And I liked his lesson with uh, Rosa. Rosa. Well. Yeah. The leader thing. Yeah, like, you know, you want to do this, but leaders teach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's strong. She, you know... She does her job pretty well. I can see her being a leader. It's just, yeah, delegation and, uh, what? The top-down economics might not be her strong suit. She's definitely the most capable of delivering a whole line. Yeah. yeah. I love like, the way that there's, there's scenes the No, yeah. It's great. As I said, my favorite part of this episode is just those two having emotional yeah. moments. Because it's like, I'm sorry. And like she just has like a lack of anything, and yeah. he's always just so just. I'm sorry. Well, but even, even when sorry. she's angry, she's not like angry in the face. No, you know, yeah. it's like the voice and her body, but her face is still the same. The but actress. I'm sorry, you're such a dumb. When you see body. the actress in you just interviews or any other role, it's night and day, literally. But we've it's seen crazy. her break a few times with like some real smiles yeah, like, here and there definitely. in the background, and like she just looks completely different. Yeah, but she sounds completely different. And everything. I, I I just love the like she had a very genuine. I'm sorry to hold. I just don't make a scene. <laughs> Man, I want to see what the picture looked like in the in the, the elevator. elevator. The elevator. Like, the guy's it. face was so great. I'm so excited. It's better not to have seen it. I guess. Yeah. It's better. It's like the monster movie. It's better not to have seen it. What is habanero frosting? I mean, it, it must be frosting imagine. infused with habanero peppers. Yeah, but what's the cake? Was it like a carrot cake maybe or something? Probably vanilla. It's vanilla and habanero. Yeah. Look at the vanilla cake. Maybe I don't know. That doesn't sound good. No, sweet and heat is good. It's no, why I, I know. It's why I go with uh, pepperoni, jalapeno, and pineapple. Yeah. Because you get that sweet pineapple with the spicy jalapeno. Yeah. And why you get I, it all complimented with some meat. That's why I go with the Taco Bell quesadilla and the Wendy's Frosty. Yeah. Sweet and heat. Sweet. Rick, that's, the, that's heat and cool down. That's what you're going for. Don't uh, lie. <laughs> <laughs> you're not dipping your quesadilla in the Frosty. <laughs> you're taking a bite. Like, ooh, ooh. <sighs> <laughs> sure. I love Peralta and Boyle's agreement that they're gonna die on the force together. He in the line of duty, and Boyle will <laughs> kill himself at his respect. funeral out of respect. Uh, I know. Yeah, he, the way <laughs> like Peralta said that in such a way, and then because Boyle just goes, "I know." One of my favorite things about the show is their friendship, but here was a very much like you know, because sometimes you can feel like it's a one way friendship. Not really, not as much as like some other. No, shows I get watch. you. But like Boyle is the ultimate friend. And Peralta does what he can back. Like, he, he tolerated all these things, like, immediately, you know? Because he loves Boyle. And the idea of losing him to Canada, he can't take it. Mm. Mm. But they did decide not to do that, so. Here, Jake, drink this. <laughs> I was like, what? Then he waited in that car for five hours. Why is there, there, did. Did. Why is there a bow tie in this? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh... And then uh, the, the diet stuff was funny. Um, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, I mean, was... we've we've seen him go without food before, and it was disastrous. Yeah, because he eats like six thousand calories a day. So, but here at least he's doing like he's doing it for his wife and that yeah, kind of thing. I like the reasoning for that, which is uh, he's such a. We've dealt, dealt with it before because of the, yeah. the kids and for all to be like, oh my god, we gotta take take, take him yeah. take care of him. You know, he's gonna be safe and stuff and. Him caring about his family, and that's like a lot of his motivation. I love the, like, the the trash like trail of finding Santiago, and she's there, and she has like this shit all over her mouth, and she's like, "Ah!" Isn't this like no, it's my fourth. <laughs> Dude, her going off on Hitchcock because of the almond. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he yeah. bumped him. Oh. That was hilarious. He just picks her up, please. <laughs> aneurysm after aneurysm after aneurysm. She's yeah. screaming. Ah! Great. It was pretty good stuff. I, I, I love that he was in the knee. He's like, taking the knee hospital. And he's like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. He's just running away with yeah. his bad knee. Oh, I like how he stopped because the police officer told him to stop. <laughs> nah, yeah. damn, I buy the book. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, uh, we're getting towards the end of this, uh, the first season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And it seems like to you guys, it, it found a feat early on, you think? I mean, yeah, I think it's doing well um, yeah. as far as like what I'm expecting of the show. Yeah. Um, show would be half as good without Raymond Holt. Yeah. Holt, yes. Yeah. Yes. I love all the characters. You said Raymond, but... I got caught off guard. I'm like, which actor yeah. is that? Yeah. 
Um, Everybody loves Raymond. He's in this. Uh, I'm I'm worried. Like when this happened here, I'm like, oh man, maybe Boyle's gonna leave or something. Yeah. So I'm like, well, maybe not. I don't know if like, like I, I've watched lots of shows. Not everyone who's in the beginning always necessarily stays mm-hmm. to the end and stuff. You know, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. One At this moments, point, one of the biggest moments in the office was a main character leaving yeah. the office. You know, and they, they kept going, and it was. At a little this different. point, you have to pick one person to leave. Who do you pick? I think I know who leaves, so I don't want to say anything. Scully. You can't break those two up. They'll die. Okay, Hitchcock. Hitchcock They'll die. Scully. They have to live together. They've only made it who this do, far. Who do I have to pick? Huh? Wait, I got to pick out of. How about the guy who was? Had cancer and his wife was addicted to. You're gonna take that guy. <laughs> until, uh, it's his job. It's all he has. You're gonna ruin his life more, Jesus. Gina. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine Nine with us. If you want to see more, uh, right now, patreoncom blindwave The next reaction is available. Go check it out. Also, subscribe. Hit the like button. But most importantly, subscribe because, like, literally, sixty people that watch this every week—they're not subscribed. Subscribe, please. Sixty people. Only sixty percent. Oh.